Right then people, as you can see there's a lot going on in the spider room at the minute. I have to take these tarantulas out of this room because I'm going to be a dad, which is cool. But it means I've got less space for my tarantulas. So, I've decided to cut all these down from the width they were, which they, to be honest you, they didn't need to be that width because all this depth was just unnecessary. So what I've done, I've cut them right back because they're going to go into another bedroom and if anything it actually works out better because as you can see sorry the sunlight's open at the minute I'm going to cover, close the blind now but um, yeah I get a much better view of them because they're right to the front so that's pretty cool so I'm in the process of cutting up the last tank and then I'll reset them up and then I'll take a video when they're all back in their own place I'm getting rid of some of these old backs as well because they're just all knackered so I've bought new new sheeting so it's nice and fresh for them and um, yeah okay well people all done finally as you can see all nice and fresh all new backs I've read did the wiring so it just goes to a little hole in the back so I don't have to drag all the wiring up across and into the hole that used to be here and um, yeah looks good one thing I did mess up on though was I cut it slightly too short and that means I can only fit four of my spider room terrariums in there instead of five in a row so I get to keep my juveniles now in the center which isn't too bad so it's fine whatever but um, yeah, well chuffed. So I've decided to put uh, my hognose snake in with him as well, so he's all right at the minute. These I'm warming at the moment because I'm going to do a transfer video next of my blue fang and one of my cambridge And down there is my little idiothalamira, which I'll show you a little clip. She was out, or he was out the other day. So I'll show you a little update on that, who's coming along nicely. Right guys, my Dithalamira is out, the blue-footed baboon. There he or she is. It's, uh, it's growing. Staying quite small though, so I'm praying it's a female. It'd be great if it's a female. You just see the slight blue in the feet. Anyway, I'll let her back. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I think it works better with the short distance. Much more closer to see. And plus, when you're standing back, they're right up the front rather than hidden at the back where you have to really duck down. And uh, yeah, so I'm really chuffed for that. But it's going to go in the other bedroom into a little recess in the wall. That's why I had to cut them down shorter. Sorry about that, people, the battery died. Anyway, yes, so, um, yeah, so overall that's, that's great. Also, some really good news as well. I've managed to find a recently mature male Avoclera vesicola. So finally, this girl will yet to get to lay an egg sack that won't be a dud. So I'm just praying that all goes to plan because she's a bit feisty, this one, and uh, quite big, actually. She's about six inches plus, she's, yeah, they're an animal. But, um, yes, but another update is my blue fang has molted. So I'm I, I'm guessing it's a male now. It's it's grown too quick. It's grown as fast as my male um, skeleton was. So, yep, and I'm going to move. There's one Cambridge Eye male there, which I need to put into a, um, I'm going to put into this little white tub here. And yeah, I need to move my blue fang, and I'm gonna leave my my blue baboon at the minute, my bulfori. But sorry, just checking that. Yep, she's fine, and that's that. Here's my mature male. Weird, he actually quite likes the sun for a pia minion. That's bizarre. 
Yes, and okay, let's go move some tarantulas. Right, oh, first up is the blue fan. As you can see, she's molded there. And this tab now is too small for it. She's, or he, is there. But I um, decided to give him a nice new tab, just plenty of moss. I've put a hole already, dug a temporary sort of little starter point for it. So hopefully he'll just take that on and uh, make his home. So, here we go. This thing, I don't know if, I've never had this opened up before, but these are very, very quick, very fast BC. Mm. Wow. God, that is absolutely stunning. Yes. Oh. Well, that went better than I expected. Great. Okay. Let's take it upstairs and show you. Oh, here she is. Oh he very hard to film this tarantula a little bit. There's the blue fluorescent. I'm not gonna rock it too much. Wow. Up. Beautiful. Blue fangs glowing right there. <laughs> Great. Well hopefully You'll settle in this pretty soon. Right, I won't disturb him anymore. Next one, Cambridge Eye. Right then, here we go. This thing is bound to run because it's bonkers. Mm. 
me. He's not letting go. Right, I might have to do this. Okay. Here we go. Check him out. He is mad as hell. There he goes. Oh, beauty. Great. <laughs> Run and hide, bless him. Good. Good. Very good. Less trouble than I thought he was going to be. Even though he's just a small GV, but still he can be. So, I mean, that container is bloody awful. Right. Yes, but this is one of the ones that um, Tarantula Matt gave me. Growing like a beast. Okay, people, let's go upstairs and have a look. Oh, there he is. You can just see the chevrons hiding down in the moss. Basic setup. Nice fake exoterra leaf and just plenty of foliage because the thing is the Salmopoas, I think they prefer to burrow halfway down something, a web then upwards, so this is just sphagnum moss, perfect for these guys. So, um, yes, I'll give him a couple of days and I'll throw in a cricket to encourage him to uh, web up. Um, yeah, that's it. Nice one. Cheers, people.